Hi everyone, this video is the continuation of my previous video about CLI controller app in LoadRunner 12.60 where you can automate your scenario execution using this uh, CLI tool. Also you can integrate with your CICD pipeline, you can deploy dockerized load generators and a lot of benefits of using this CLI tool. But if you use this command line tool as it is, it will not work. So here I am going to pass a test path and I am going to collate and analyze and I am going to uh, store the results in my uh, C drive controller uh, results path. So if you press enter, it is displaying an error message stating that controller did not start process return error 1326. So if you get this error, you need to configure your username and password in CLI controller app dot exe dot config file. If you go to C program file 86 micro focus load runner bin, there you can see this particular file CLI controller app dot exe dot config. This one you have to open in your favorite editor using uh, your administrator privilege. So I am using uh, uh, Visual Studio code. So in the line number 4 and 5 has the key username and the value is uh, default username and the key is the password and the value is password. So here you have to enter your admin uh, username basically your uh, system password uh, username and password. So I am asking my username and password and I'm going to uh, uh, save this file and I'm going to close this. Now go to your command prompt and apply the same command and hit enter. So now you can see controller is starting and then it will uh, invoke the controller and it will uh, analyze, collate and analyze the results. And couple things I would like to share. So this, uh, uh, there are some limitations uh, for this CLI tool. So at, at any point of time, you can run only one instance and the arguments are case sensitive. So you have to use as it is. So you cannot uh, uh, mix and match your uh, uh, alphabets and controller will always overwrite the results. So there is no way to uh, store uh, the results in a, a different folder every time you run. and uh, all the controller settings will be loaded from the config folder. So if you go to uh, uh, load runner and there is a config folder here and there is a file called wlrun.ini. So this file will be used to execute your uh, controller. So th this is it guys uh, from my side. If you have any uh, questions, please let me know in the comments. If you have a time, please go to my next tutorial. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.